Italian chemist Michele Pironi had no idea that cisplatin, the compound he discovered in 1844, would 120 years later become one of the most important drugs in the treatment of cancer. Pironi had originally trained as a physician, but found chemistry more to his liking. At the time, the most famous French chemist was Jean-Baptiste André Dumas, and Pironi managed to secure a position in his lab. Under Dumas, he became proficient in the laboratory, but also became aware that Germany was at the forefront of chemistry. He approached Justus von Liebeck, the leading German chemist, who agreed to take Pironi on as a researcher. It was in Liebeck's lab that he reacted platinum chloride with ammonia to produce a yellow salt that would later be named cisplatin. There was not much interest in this compound until 1965, when Michigan State University biophysics researcher Barnett Rosenberg was investigating the effects of electric fields on bacteria. He wondered whether exposure to an electric field would stop bacteria from dividing. E. coli are common laboratory bacteria and can easily be cultured in a medium that contains chloride ions and ammonia. Indeed, Rosenberg found that when electricity was passed between two platinum electrodes immersed in the bacterial solution, the bacteria stopped multiplying. Curiously, when the electrodes were made of other metals, the bacteria continued to multiply. After investigating this phenomenon for a couple of years, Rosenberg realized that it was not the electric current that stopped the bacteria from multiplying. It was the cisplatin that formed when the platinum electrode reacted with ammonia and chloride ions. Louis Pasteur famously remarked that chance favors the prepared mind, and Dr. Rosenberg's mind was prepared. He thought that if cisplatin stopped bacterial cells from multiplying, it may do the same with cancer cells. It did just that. But these were tumors in mice. Nevertheless, the National Cancer Institute was intrigued enough to fund a series of trials in human cancer patients beginning in 1972. The drug turned out to be particularly effective in the treatment of testicular cancer, as was approved for the treatment of this cancer in 1978. Soon, cisplatin was found to be useful in the treatment of lung, bladder, cervical, and ovarian cancers as well. Numerous cisplatin analogs have since been synthesized with improved efficacy and fewer side effects. Platinum compounds have become a mainstay in chemotherapy, all because Barnett Rosenberg was able to capitalize on a chance discovery. That for today is our Cup of Joe.